हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टूडियो साइल्स माय नेम इज सुरेंद्र चौधरी टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट टू यू अ वर्कशॉप रिलेटेड टू वन स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ एसेज दैट अपीयर इन आईएल्स राइटिंग टास्क टू दीज एसेज आर मेनली बेस्ड अपॉन कॉज एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अ सर्टेन डेवलपमेंट दे विल गिव यू अ स्टेटमेंट अबाउट समथिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग और मे हैपन और दैट हैज हैपन्ड एंड दे विल आस्क यू अबाउट द कॉजेज ऑफ इट as well as they will also ask you to elaborate the effects it may put on either society or on world or on individuals so in this workshop we will understand how to bifurcate the question understand it and answer it according to all the four parameters that are required in ielts writing evaluation so first of all let's have a look on the question how do they ask such questions so please uh, read with me uh, in many countries more and more people are becoming overweight what do you think are the main causes of this and what effects might this have in the future so our main topic is that people are becoming overweight in many countries okay before i delve deeper into the workshop i would assign you some tasks of your own first of all i want you to keep all the evaluation parameters in front of you so that when you are writing your essay you can assess that are you going on right track or not if you don't know these parameters we have a separate video on these parameters in this youtube channel so please go to that and watch that and pick those parameters for your convenience and uses for the practice second task that i'm going to assign you is to practice along with me for example if i am completing one aspect of my essay that is introduction i want you to do that after me by following the same structure so that you can get benefit of this workshop thirdly whatever vocabulary i have used in in my essay but you are a little aware about that so please use that vocabulary write it down and find its meaning on your own that is going to help you a lot in your own practices okay so first thing first before going to uh, solve the essay we have to understand what they are asking right so understanding means we have to categorize our topic categorize our question into different parts that what are we supposed to target what are we supposed to address in our essay so that our task achievement can be perfect so first of all please look at the highlighted text colored text in the question so first thing first you have to consider that this development is about many countries whatever we are talking about in question it is related to many countries so when you are answering your question you cannot skip this part you have to address this issue right then who are the target of that problem people individuals right natives of those countries so you can address them you can elaborate them you can connect them with the development of your thoughts in your essay then what actually the problem is problem is overweight so you cannot obviously ignore it you cannot skip it you cannot forget it so please uh, your essay should eventually revolve around the main problem that is to be talked about in your essay then uh, focus on the questions there are two questions first is main causes of this problem then what are the effects or what may be the effects of this problem so please bifurcate your question completely so that you can uh, plan your essay accordingly you can address all the parts in the question and your question can give you good scores all right now we are moving to our first part of the essay that is introduction and in introduction how we have to go and how we have to actually introduce or make an abstract of our entire question have a look okay first of all we are <coughs> really supposed to paraphrase our question so what should be the paraphrasing of the question because the problem is overweight in many countries which is faced by many people so we have to paraphrase the entire statement in our own way okay in recent years an alarming trend has emerged across many nations 
what is that alarming trend a steady increase in the prevalence of obesity among their populations i have tried to paraphrase each and everything that was existing in your question so if that was existing there in a certain way you are supposed to paraphrase it you are supposed to say it write it in your own method in your own way of saying it by completely altering the words with the use of synonyms so this is going to help you to showcase your range of vocabulary as well as grammatical structures so this is how we introduce the problem okay going ahead it says the surge in obesity rates can be primarily attributed to shifts in lifestyles and dietary patterns which accompany an adverse impact on human health and their economic conditions what have we done here we have introduced both our questions in our method because first of all why this obesity problem is actually happening we have given a passing reference to those reasons and what it may result in we have also given those effects those outcomes that may be associated with the problem of obesity so this is how we have to introduce our problem thoroughly one more thing i always recommend my students to please mention your plan of essay in your introduction for example some students say that uh, there are a number of reasons behind the increase in obesity in different nations and there are certain impacts of this problem yes i have answered my question in introduction but did i give the base for that no i didn't to make an introduction more impactful you have to give a passing reference to those ideas which you are going to elaborate in your body paragraphs so if you do that it will do two things one it will showcase your proper planning of your essay that yes you already know the things that you are going to discuss in your body paragraphs and you have mentioned them in your, in your introduction secondly it will help you to use coherence or get the marks of coherence in your entire essay because if your body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 are direct explanation of your points mentioned in introduction your coherence will be good it will give you good marks in your essay so please mention them briefly and elaborate them in body paragraphs all right finally we can finish our introduction by saying that this essay aims to delve into these causes of this phenomena and the potential ramifications it may entail in the future so we can conclude by stating the objective of our essay that what our essay is going to do further in body paragraph 1 body paragraph 2 and finally in conclusion okay so now we are done with our introduction so i would recommend you to pause the video and write your own introduction after that post it in the comment box okay so now we have to talk about our first question we have introduced our problem we have told about the objective of our essay now we have to focus on first question of our essay so first question says what do you think are the main causes of this of overweight of the problem of overweight obesity that is faced by people of many countries so how we will plan that entire body paragraph is uh, associated with causes and those causes are already mentioned in introduction here we are going to elaborate them if you plan it like this it is going to be very easy for you to draft your body paragraphs in a you can say organized manner because organization of your essay is more important than addressing the issues because it is not only going to help you to achieve your task which is 25% in weightage of evaluation it is also going to help you to achieve your coherence and cohesion because that too is 25% in your final score okay so we have two main causes that we are going to elaborate in our body paragraph 1 one. one is the dietary patterns of people of those countries second is the lifestyle okay let's see how we uh, describe this 
Okay, by tending to the major causes of a hike in number of obese individuals, modern living often involves the consumption of energy dense, nutrient poor food, leading to an imbalance between caloric intake and expenditure. So, first of all, where the problem arises, when your dietary patterns have changed, where proper energy intake is not available or nutrients are not available, it will certainly create a problem between your intake of calories and the consumption of calories when you move. So, it is going to create a number of problems. Okay. Then, second part says, urbanization and globalization have facilitated the proliferation of comfort-oriented and sedentary lifestyles, further aggravating the obesity epidemic. Another reason is the lifestyle of people. And what has been added in that lifestyle? One is, it is more comfort-oriented. Secondly, it is quite sedentary. There is no movement, though no activity has been added in this lifestyle. And this is further resulting into the obesity epidemic, which is the main problem of our topic, which is overweight. Okay, if we have to support this idea, how we will say that, uh, take for example, there is an unprecedented spread of Western dietary patterns to traditionally non-Western societies, right? It was a problem of certain countries. It was a dietary pattern of certain countries. But in this era of globalization, even other countries which were not having that pattern are adopting that and which is resulting in this entire imbalance that we have discussed in our body paragraph. Okay, so this is our body paragraph one, which is elaborating the causes of obesity. Now, I want you to draft your essay, your body paragraph one, where you have to tell your issues or your causes that you have in mind. All right, so now we are moving to body paragraph two, which is going to address the second part of our question means what effects might this have in the future. So, what effects are there? We have already talked about these effects in our introduction. Now we are going to elaborate them, develop them and support them with relevant examples. Okay, how we will do that? The introduction says, the consequences of rising obesity levels are profound and wide ranging. Right? What consequences are there? From a health perspective, obesity is associated with an increased risk of chronic diseases such as cardiovascular ailments, diabetes and certain cancers placing significant strain on healthcare systems globally. So the first outcome is human health and for example, there are a number of diseases which are directly associated with obesity because if people are obese, they are going to face such problems like heart related issues or diabetes. Okay, moving ahead, there is another problem there is another effect or consequence that has been associated with it. That is, apart from this, the obesity epidemic imposes substantial financial burdens through healthcare costs and productivity losses, undetermining national economies. Two things are associated with financial conditions or economic conditions. One, if you are obese, you will face health related problems. So you will have to spend a lot of money on your healthcare. Secondly, if you are obese, you, are, you will not be able to work that productively which a healthy person can do. So eventually both these things are denting your pocket. In that way, obesity is also going to create problems in the financial segment as well. How we will support this idea? It says, in the United States, the economic impact of obesity is starkly evident. How? According to a study published in the journal Health Affairs, the annual healthcare costs attributable to obesity related illness in the United States exceeded 190 billion in 2020. This is how you support it with relevant research. So, we have talked about two major problems associated, two major effects associated with obesity and we have developed them with certain examples, right? Okay, so please write your own BP2 now and put it in the comment box. 
okay finally the time comes when we conclude it and in conclusion what we will add we will say the obesity epidemic stems from lifestyle changes and eating habits leading to chronic ailments and economic burdens this is the crux of the entire discussion that we had in the essay okay, there are two main reasons behind it these are lifestyle changes and people's eating habits and there are major two outcomes negative outcomes of it these are ailments as well as economic burden so in this way this obesity related issue has some causes and it also has a number of consequences so what should be done addressing these root causes through comprehensive strategies is crucial for fostering healthier societies and sustainable future so this is how we have to conclude it by giving a certain suggestion and opinion that we have in our mind because if we do that it will present our entire understanding of the topic our proper control on the language and our understanding of different varieties of a language okay so this is the final view of our essay that we have brought out of our workshop please take a screenshot of it and it is going to help you when you are practicing it because you can refer to it anytime okay so that's all from uh, this workshop where we have thoroughly discussed about uh, these types of essays where some causes are to be mentioned and some effects can be elaborated related to the question well uh, if you want to know more about uh, these writing workshops you can contact us on the details available on the screen we are available in training mode for online as well as offline classes and we are also available in uh, visa guidance if you need that you can also contact us on discord all right thank you so much